This episode of Ask Jay is brought to you by HostGator. Do companies share their profits with employees? Does it happen? I'm Jay Adelson, and I'm the founder and chairman of Revision 3. I've started and built a number of companies. My goal in this show is to pass on some of the knowledge from my experiences to you, the budding entrepreneurs, and hopefully leave you with some words of wisdom. Today's question comes from John who asks, if the company starts taking off, how do company employees benefit from it? Is it typical to pay dividends at such an early stage? If so, what percentage of the profit? Did Dig pay out dividends? John, Dig did not pay out dividends. Um, in fact, Dig during my tenure technically was not profitable. And I think that that's probably one of the first requirements of paying dividends. So first, let me start by explaining what we're talking about here. We're not talking about traditional salary compensation. We're not talking about stock options or stock grants and that kind of compensation. What we're talking about is profit sharing. Um, and dividends are, you know, that, that tends to be a word that we typically associate with publicly traded companies, companies that are doing really well and then paying out to shareholders or, you know, in some cases employees, something. There's also um, profit sharing plans which allow a company to basically take a certain percentage of the profits and just give it back to the employees in the form of bonuses and so forth. Um, I, I absolutely love this model for um, businesses that are profitable. And of course, you know, this presupposes that you get to a point of growth where you're not still burning capital, but you are in fact producing money on a monthly basis. But assuming you get to that point, beyond EBITDA profitability and beyond uh, just sort of operating cash flow positive, but you get to free cash flow and profits, I think that it's, it's a, a requirement, in my opinion, to retain employees, to show them a little love and create bonus plans as a way to share that profit or um, more traditional profit sharing structures. Now, you don't hear about it a lot these days because in the startup universe, all people talk about is you know, the, the exit, this idea of taking a company and moving it quickly to a point of sale or possibly IPO, though you rarely even hear other than like the big names like Facebook and Twitter about IPOs, you hear about the quick exits. And so because someone's so focused, these, these entrepreneurs have, have recently been so focused on short-term gains, uh, they, they aren't really talking about retention over long periods. And I, and I think that's a, a tragedy, really. I think that for entrepreneurs to be hyper successful and really build those businesses that will be, you know, potentially billion dollar businesses of the future, you need to focus on employee retention up front as much as possible and create programs where a company will, or an employee will benefit from earlier profits. It will drive the company towards better cash flow, make you a healthier business overall, and definitely, I think the investors win, I think the entrepreneurs win, but most of all, the employees win, and I think that's what this is about, is building long-term sustainable businesses. So, in a minute, let's talk about um, you know, some of the different ways that you can show that love and that profit, but first, let's thank our sponsors. This episode of Ask Jay is brought to you by HostGator. Looking for a place to launch or blog a website? Frustrated with customer support at your current hosting provider? Go with HostGator and get up and running in minutes with plans starting at just $3.96 a month. You get top rated 24 by seven customer support, access to tools, including a website builder with over 4,000 templates. HostGator will even migrate your current site for free. Can you believe servers are 130% powered by wind energy? That's about as green as it gets. Unlimited disk space, unlimited bandwidth, a 45-day money-back guarantee, and a $100 Google AdWords credit to market your website. And right now, for Revision 3 viewers, HostGator is offering 25% off your order or your first month free. Go to www.hostgator.com and enter the code JADELSON at checkout to get your discount. So you're building a plan on compensating employees, and you want to include some thought around profits. Uh, you know, typically what I've seen done, uh, and, and I really think needs some revision, is, is you sort of wait until the profits come and then you, you establish these things. 
I think it would be a wonderful uh, and attractive tool to recruiting employees if you thought about some of this stuff up front. For example, bonus plans. There are a lot of off-the-shelf, downloadable bonus plan uh, methodologies in terms of assigning both personal goals and corporate goals to a total bonus that each employee gets at the end of the year once the company is profitable. You can, in offer letters, say, and there is this bonus plan, it does have a precondition of profitability, but um, once, if you sign this offer, we are committing to you up front that if that happens, you will be, uh, a bonus will be made available to you. And I think that's, you know, most boards would totally support that, um, particularly considering the fact that it's such a great way to retain and motivate employees. See, the second thing is, you know, obviously in the dream scenario where you have wild profits and you have to make a choice at that point between investing those profits back in the company and, and investing in employee compensation. Uh, you know, I, I, it depends on the business, obviously, but I would definitely take a double digit percentage, if not as much as, as half of those profits, and invest it back in employees. And the reason why is because ultimately that's going to increase their productivity, which is going to increase the success of the business, which is going to make you wealthier and everyone happier. Thanks again for joining us today. We want your questions at askj at revision3.com. Please join the conversation on Twitter, at Jay Adelson. Please follow me there, and I'd love to see your questions there and any commentary or answers or thoughts about uh, what we're talking about on the show. Um, also, YouTube is a great place not only just to watch us, but also to post your video responses. We'd love to see them there. Kind of hard to find, I think, in the current environment at YouTube, but they're fixing it, so it's going to be easier. But you can find that video response capability. We've already seen some video questions. We'd love to see more, and we'll put you on the air. So until next time, thanks for joining us.